Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, I have a little bit of an experiment. If you've watched my streams before, you know I, over the course of my life, develop a nut allergy. It's really hard for me because I love pecan pie. I absolutely love it. It was my favorite pie. But now, of course, I cannot indulge. So I'm going to be trying out a nut-free pecan pie. So that means replacing those delicious pecans. We'll see how it goes. First things first, let's gather our ingredients. You're going to need some light brown sugar. I'm gonna be doing it a traditional way. I'm not gonna be using corn syrup. So you're gonna need a little bit of molasses. You're also gonna need some maple syrup, some heavy cream, six eggs, just the yolks. You're gonna need butter, four tablespoons of butter. I've already cut it up. I put it in my freezer. They're gonna act like little ice cubes. Cool down the filling before we add our eggs so we're not standing around waiting for the filling to cool down. For the pecan replacement, I'm choosing some rice crisp flakes, if you will. They're like corn flakes. They're not really frosted. They just have a toastiness to them and a crunch. Hopefully we can maintain that. I think nut-free granola could be amazing here. I don't have any. I have this. I wanted to try this, so we'll try it. Maybe next time I'll try nut-free granola. You're going to need some salt. You also are going to need pie dough. I already have mine in my pie plate. You want it chilled in your refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, which is why I've already done this. And remember, if you have a glass plate, might need to take some extra caution because you're gonna be putting a cold glass plate into a hot oven. You don't want it shattering. So make sure it's Pyrex or that, what is it? Bicarbonate, whatever, glass that can handle the shock. I've preheated my oven. Middle rack, 450 degrees. We're starting this in a hot oven. That's why we're not blind baking our pie dough. We're gonna turn it down it's gonna take 40, 60 minutes to cook, so let's go. Get yourself a pot, and let's start with these ingredients. About two thirds a cup of maple syrup here. I like it real mapley. One cup of light brown sugar here, packed. You're also gonna need half a cup of heavy cream. Let's do about two teaspoons of molasses. I don't really like too much of it. It kind of muddies things up. I mean, you can go up to a tablespoon if you want. All right, now that we've got our ingredients, we're gonna get them over the stove top. And we're just going to melt over medium heat. Make sure that the brown sugar gets all nice and melted. And that's all we're really doing here. I'm gonna stir this occasionally. It's gonna take three to five minutes, medium heat. While that's doing, I'm gonna prep my eggs. I want six yolks. This is our filling. So far, so good. Let's get a half teaspoon of salt in here. Now comes the butter. Four tablespoons, cut it up. This is off heat, and I'm throwing in my four tablespoons of butter, which are essentially ice cubes because I had them in the freezer. And that's just going to help cool this down while they melt so we can get our eggs in without curdling them. All right, our butter's melted, so we're going to add our six egg yolks here. We have our filling perfect. It's loose, it's liquidy. It's going to firm up in the oven. Let's get our chilled pie dough out. All right, we have our chilled pie dough. I'm worried these things are gonna get soggy, but I think we have to take the test. This is the test. I got about maybe a cup and a half in here. I'm gonna add them. Hopefully they float to the top and the oven keeps them crispy. All right, here we go. Even it out here. Now we're gonna get it into our oven, 450 degrees. As soon as it goes in, I'm gonna drop it to 325. I'm also gonna put it on a little baking sheet here in case there's any, for whatever reason, spillage or whatnot. It'll keep it neat, but also this will help with thermal shock. All right, let's get it in. It's gonna be 45 to 60 minutes. All right, it's been about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. So I'm gonna pull my nut-free pecan pie out of the oven. Remember, when we put it in, it was 450 degrees and I immediately turned it down to 325. I'm looking for a brown crust. Oh yeah, and that's what we got. It has puffed up a little bit in the middle. That'll settle. That puffiness will settle down. Look at these flakes, these rice flakes, these corn flakes, whatever they're called. They look like they're on top. Hopefully they have kept some of their crispiness. This looks fantastic. This has to cool. This looks amazing. I want to get into it, but it's got to chill. You got to chill it for about 30 minutes, and then you got to pop it in the fridge for one to four hours. You really want it to set. I think my pie has chilled enough. So let's take a look at it. So you can see a lot of the puffiness. 
has gone down. It's flattened out. Fantastic. It's gonna shrink a little bit. Mm, that's fine. It happens. One way to prevent that is pre-baking it, but I don't like pre-baking it, not for this recipe. So let's cut into this. Let's do my favorite part. Let's do a taste test. I really hope it works out. I have missed pecan pie. I know it won't have that pecan flavor. And just for the record, it's pronounced pecan, not pecan or pecan. Yeah, none of that. Pecan, 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 pecan. Pecan! In order to get one piece of pie out, you always need to make three cuts. Don't ask me why, it is just the law of the land. Ooh, crispy top, I like it. Butchering these. I don't think it's firm enough yet. Fingers crossed. Now you really need some whipped cream, some bourbon whipped cream. Oof, been really nice. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You get the crunch. This is good. It doesn't have that super nuttiness that the pecans bring, but this hits the spot. This really does. As someone that can't have pecan pie, this really hits the spot. This takes me back. I love the original traditional filling. No corn syrup. Yeah, it's actually a little bit crispier than you might get it in a pecan. Those tend to be a little bit more toothsome, less crispy. This is kind of like, yeah, you ever get the chocolate with the rice puffs in it? It's kind of got that level of crispiness to it. Oh, that filling, the maple comes through. I think it's just the right amount of sweetness. Maybe a teeny bit too much, depending on your sweet tooth. But I'm just thrilled. I'm really happy with this. It worked out. I'd love to try a nut-free granola here. Those six egg yolks just really give it that body. And you could probably do this with toasted pecans. You don't need to sub what I did. If you don't have a nut allergy, I think this could work out. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you liked what you saw. Remember, you can follow me on YouTube, Twitch. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope to see you next time. Take care.